With a personality type that makes up less than 1% of the population, there's no doubt that the INFJ man exhibits traits and qualities that are contrary to the average male stereotype. Deeply intuitive and in touch with their feminine side, the introverted man can feel pressured to bury their unique abilities for the means of fitting into the standard male role. But by acknowledging and embracing their uniqueness, they can be considered a true gift to humanity. Welcome, or welcome back, Cycles. In today's video, we'll be discussing the 10 contradicting traits of the INFJ man. But first, have you liked and subscribed to the channel? Go ahead and be sure to click the notification bell while you're there so that you never miss a video. Starting with number one, they're not materialistic, but they are drawn to quality and beauty. The INFJ man isn't particularly keen on having the biggest house or the nicest car like some men strive for. They aren't driven to show off their material assets, in fact, they rarely feel the desire to go for the materialistic things in life, but when they do desire something, they will be sure to get the best of it, or they will opt to go without. They can see the beauty in the things in life that took significant time and effort, but won't just buy something for the heck of it. This also goes with relationships. The INFJ man would never be associated with someone for their looks, but they are particularly drawn to people that exhibit internal and external beauty that shows their true quality characteristics. Number 2. They care about their looks, but they dislike superficiality. If you take a deep look into this rare personality type, you'll find that most INFJ men are into health, fitness and fashion. Relating to the INFJ man's interest in quality and beauty, this rare type can easily get wrapped up in how they look and how they present themselves to others. The typical man isn't exactly focused on their fashion or looks, but the INFJ man is different. They understand that we live in a particularly materialistic and extroverted world where things like looks and other societal ideas can be used to their advantage to get where they need to be. All INFJs have a deeper understanding of how others perceive people and how that affects the way they fit into society, something that some INFJs really struggle with. With that being said, it's not as if the INFJ man wants to come off as being the showstopper, but they want to feel put together enough that others perceive them as how they want to be perceived. Number 3. They crave close connections, but they don't want to make the first move. The INFJ man, similar to the INFJ woman, craves deep meaningful connections and can easily find themselves interested in people they come across because of their feeling and judging nature. The contradiction comes in when they are faced with people that catch their interest. Unfortunately, the stereotypical man is the one to be expected to take the lead. But with their introverted nature and fear of being judged or rejected, the INFJ man is unusually extremely hesitant to make the first move, even in circumstances that have nothing to do with romance. The INFJ man will rarely make it his duty to make plans with a new friend and may even be hesitant to accept an invite. This is one of the INFJ's biggest struggles, a longing for deep connection but a hesitancy to let people in. Number 4. They can be rebellious, but also people-pleasing INFJ men are drawn to things that are out of the social norms and usually rebel against society's stereotypical expectations. Rules, extroversion, materialism and superficiality are among the few social expectations that goes against their moral compass that prefers humanitarianism, freedom and a deep connection with the world around them. Yet, they also strive to be accepted and understood by others, another one of this personality type's main struggles in life. The INFJ man is constantly caught in a limbo of following their deep intuition to live life on their own terms and desire to make everyone around them happy and welcoming of their decisions. This is especially true when it comes to their loved ones who they never want to disappoint or cause them to feel uncomfortable about the way they choose to live their lives. Number 5. They can come off as cold, but they're actually sensitive. 
As an intuitive and introverted personality type, the INFJ man spends a great deal of time in their heads. They can easily be distracted from the life and people that are in front of them because they are too busy thinking of anything and everything. This constant internal dialogue and complex inner world can be disassociating, making them appear distant, judgy and cold towards others from the outside perspective. However, if you're an INFJ yourself, you'd know that their disassociation and continuous thought cycle comes from a deep sensitivity and emotional space, a place where the INFJ man feels most like himself. The unfortunate thing for the INFJ man is the comparison to the INFJ woman in that society expects men to keep their empathetic and emotional side to themselves which makes the INFJ man even more hesitant to share their deepest thoughts and desires with others. So only a lucky few will really know the INFJ man for who he really is. Number 6. They have an all-or-nothing attitude Some may say the INFJ is an extremist because of their tendency to be on one side of the scale or the other, rarely caught in between. The INFJ man is the perfect example of this trait, as the typical manly stereotype is expected to be confident and in control. The INFJ man can easily lose themselves to their passions and overthink perfectionism. No matter what aspect of life, the INFJ man is usually caught between going all in or not going in at all. In love, the INFJ man will love with their whole heart or become completely distant. In terms of large purchases, they will buy the best of the best or hold off and not purchase anything at all. In health, the INFJ man will train hard and eat healthy, or spend the day binge-watching Netflix and eating junk food. Although there's a transition period between the two extremes, the INFJ man is known to not stay in the middle lane for too long. This quality can be extremely confusing for the people around this type of man because they can go from one extreme to the other for no apparent reason. Number 7. They're stubborn but understanding and empathetic Although the INFJ personality type would never shut someone down for their views and opinions, they may not always completely accept them as facts. The empathetic nature of the INFJ man is what gives them the title of the counselor or confidant, as referred to in the Myers-Briggs personality type indicator. However, when it comes to other people giving the INFJ man advice or input on certain topics, the INFJ man is confident as they already know the answer due to their strong intuitive capabilities that lead them to trust their instinct above all else. No amount of facts or amount of information can convince an INFJ man that their intuition is wrong, which can make them seem stubborn and sometimes even argumentative. Number 8. They're masculine, but also in tune with their feminine side. Some INFJ men have been programmed by society's expectations to bury their emotional nature. But for the INFJ men who have learned to embrace this unique gift, they can exhibit both stereotypical feminine and masculine qualities interchangeably. We all have both masculine and feminine qualities, but for the INFJ man, they can easily embrace both qualities depending on the situation. For example, the INFJ man wouldn't hesitate to help with cooking, cleaning and dishes at the Sunday family dinner, while the rest of the men watch the football game. Because of this, the INFJ man is usually more inclined to relate to and understand women in relationships with their sensitive and emotional essence. Number 9. They're hopeless romantics, but also have a dirty mind. Just because the INFJ man can easily relate to women with their sensitive and emotional nature, unfortunately doesn't mean that they find it easy to find romantic partnerships. The INFJ man has a vast understanding of what they want in a partner, but not anyone will do. Their high expectations paired with their hesitancy to make the first move can make it especially difficult for this personality type to settle for romance. They have a deep inner world where they have thoughts of the ideal fairy tale relationship and their ideal intimate life. 
However, when it comes to the real world, it becomes a completely different story. Not many people can live up to the INFJ man's dreamt up romantic ideals. But when the lucky person comes along, they will be pleasantly surprised at this type of man's hopeless romantic tendencies. And even more pleasantly surprised if they get a sneak peek into their wildest intimate fantasies. And number 10. They want fast life experiences but can stay stuck in their own heads. Just like the romantic life, the INFJ man experiences a deep and realistic thought of how they want their life to be. But when it comes to actually playing out their wildest fantasies and dreams, they stall. They can vividly imagine themselves waking up to their crush, gently kissing them on the hand and confessing their deepest love when in reality, they're standing and observing them from a distance in hopes that their crush may look up at them or bump into them accidentally. If we were to take a look inside the brain of an INFJ man, we would see a rich, fulfilled life, the ones you see in movies. Yet, when you look at the life of an INFJ man from the outside perspective, you would see a reserved person seemingly closed off from the world around them. So, are you an INFJ man? If so, do you relate to these 10 contradicting traits? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to the channel for more Psycho videos.